no yeast, no egg, whole wheat bread recipe for her. Let's get started. Let's begin by taking a look at the ingredients. Since there are no eggs, neither there is any yeast in this recipe, we will be using yogurt along with baking powder and baking soda to help rise the dough. I'm using these instant oats. You can use rolled oats if you have them. If you're also using instant oats like I am, make sure to strain the oats to get rid of the salt, sugar, the milk powder and the maltodextrin. And once we measure out the oats, we are going to soak these in the milk and the yogurt that we previously measured out. Make sure that you save one tablespoon of the measured out yogurt to use later on with the baking powder and the baking soda. And after adding the milk, the oil and the honey, we will add in the oats. We will whisk this and set it aside for about 40 minutes. Soaking the oats will hydrate them and it will give us a very very soft bread. And now is the time to preheat your oven to 375 degree Fahrenheit. I personally like to keep two ends of the parchment paper hanging out of the tin so that it's easier to pull out the bread later on. Before we actually start mixing the dough, we will mix in the baking powder, the baking soda and the salt with the yogurt. Doing this will activate the baking powder and the baking soda and this will give us a very foamy yogurt mixture. Add in one tablespoon of water, mix everything and set it aside. Put both the flowers in a bigger bowl and whisk it to remove all lumps. And to this we will add in the soaked oats and mix everything together. While I am mixing this, please take a second and subscribe to Honest Cooks. Your support is greatly appreciated. Our yogurt mixture has turned into foam and this will help the bread to rise. Be very gentle when you mix this, you don't want to break those bubbles. And when you're ready, immediately pour this into the tin that you prepared and place it into the oven at 375 for about 50 to 55 minutes. It was a little bit of a long wait but now the bread is ready and once it has cooled down to room temperature we will cut right into it. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give Thank us a thumbs up watching. and subscribe Please to comment, Honest Cooks. Like, Leave us share, a comment and what would you like to, to see channel. next. Thank Jesus you so much for you. watching guys.